the seat. We're we'll starting off with Ian Whitney. Come on up, Ian. Thank you very much. My name is Ian Whitney. There are three of us running in this race, and one of us will be your next state representative. And that person is going to go up to Tallahassee, and they're going to fight to keep windstorm insurance rates low, and they're going to fight to bring sewer funding down to the Keys. That's something that we all have in common. But on election day, you're going to make your decision based not on what we have in common, but based on our differences. I represent the seventh generation in my family to live in Florida. And if I'm elected, I'll actually be the second member of the legislature in my family. And there was a governor and a Supreme Court justice too. And what these pioneers had in common was that they all saw Florida as a state that would move forward. And today I'm afraid that we're falling behind. I'm ashamed of the fact that when it comes to per capita education spending, we actually rank dead last, 50 out of 50 states. We're laying off teachers in the Florida Keys because of decisions that are being made every day in Tallahassee. And I think that we need to do a better job for our kids. I'm concerned about water quality. Three decades of bipartisan clean water laws that were signed by Democratic and Republican governors are under attack by people who have a new, rigid ideology. And these clean water laws keep our reef, and keep our reef safe, but also protect our economy. The bottom line is that Tallahassee is just broken. We've actually reached a point where members of the legislature are submitting legislation that was written by special interest groups, and they don't even take the name of the special interest group off of the header. This is, this is absolutely ridiculous. So, I've worked for the Innkeepers Association for the past five years representing small businesses in the Keys. I've served two terms as Vice President of the Business Guild. I've served on the Visit Florida Communications and PR Committees. I worked for a U.S. Senator and for a Congressman. If you're happy with how Tallahassee is today, and if you're happy with where our priorities are at, then I am not your guy. But if you want us to focus on education again, and you want us to focus on quality of life issues for our families and communities, then I would appreciate your support this November.